Hi, I'm Dr. John, and we continue our study of accounting for inventories. Now, we're putting a value on the ending inventory and therefore the cost of goods sold. And there are two ways of doing this, FIFO and LIFO. To begin with, FIFO assumes that the first goods purchased are the first goods sold. Therefore, the older units are sold first, and the newer, the recently purchased units, are still on hand in ending inventory. Therefore, the cost of goods available for sale, let's say we had 10 units we bought in January, 10 in March, another 20 in May, another 10 in August, 20 in October, 10 in December. We have 80 units available for sale. And the total amount available for sale is $690. Now we sold 60. So we sold 60. And we have in ending inventory 20. Which 60 did we sold and which 20 are in ending inventory? Well, under the FIFO, the first ones, the January, the March, the May, August, and 10 of this October 12th were sold. The ending inventory, the 20 units in ending inventory, are the 10 that were purchased in December and 10 of the 20 that were purchased in October. So the value, the 10 at $9.10, 91, and 10 at $8.80, 88. So there's the value of my ending inventory. And this is my cost of goods sold. So the 690, 511 is cost of goods sold, 179 is the ending inventory. Now the other method of putting a value on the ending inventory and hence the cost of goods sold is called the last in, first out method. And they assume that the last goods that you purchased were the first to be sold. Therefore the ending inventory are the first units listed because they're beginning inventory, then the first purchase, and so on. All right, so again, if we have 80 units, 60 were sold, and 20 in ending inventory, and the total value was 690, well, under LIFO, we would say that this was sold, this was sold, this was sold, and this was sold. And what's remaining are the 10 we had at the beginning plus the 10 we purchased in March. What we paid for them at the beginning was $8, so it's $80 for those and $8.50 for these. So here we say the ending inventory is $165 and the cost of goods sold is $525. So the $690, $525 is the cost of goods sold and $165 is the ending inventory. Now let us look at a demonstration problem. Following data related to Alder Company beginning inventory purchases and sales. So here's a beginning inventory. Units 6,250. This has all been shifted. This should be over here more. Unit cost $3. Uh, total value of the inventory 18,750. And then we sold all of them for that amount. So over here is sales, okay, this is sales. What we're concerned about is what we had available for sales. So in total, we had 30,000 available for sale, 6,250, 5,000, 8,750, 6,250, so on, 30,000. The total value of everything was 98,925, and we ended up um, selling 25,000. Okay, so this is over here, and this 25,000 is over here. I'm sorry for that. Compute the ending inventory and the cost of goods sold under FIFO, and then do it again under LIFO. Well, the ending inventory under FIFO would be the uh, the purchases of November 20th and August 10th. And so therefore we have 5,000 units and 
the 5,000 ending inventories, the 3,750 I purchased November 20th, and the 1,250 at the end of the year. This is the cost I paid for them, so therefore the value of the ending inventory is this. Therefore, the cost of goods sold would be the 98925 available for sale minus 18300 or 80625 Okay? That's under FIFO. Now, under LIFO, LIFO says last in, first out, so therefore the 5,000 units were the 5,000 we had at the beginning of the period, therefore ending inventory is 15,000, and the cost of goods sold would be 98,925, the total cost of goods available for sale, minus 15,000. And that would equal 83,925.